Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Alhamdulillah, today we have our beloved brother Bilal. Yes. You embraced Islam recently, I was yes, told, yes, yes. and as well brother Khalid. And I, I was joking with the brother Khalid. Okay, I can be in the middle, inshallah, no problem. Yeah, as we mentioned, I'm here with, with my two beloved brothers, mashallah, brother Bilal and brother Khalid. You both from Angola, yeah? Yes. Or originally from Angola, well, mashallah. Born, born in Portugal, but my background comes from Angola. Yeah. Mashallah, yeah. mashallah. And uh, sorry for the joke earlier, as we say the, for the brothers who are, mashallah, the brothers and sisters who are, yani, they revered Islam a long time ago, they said they are expired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yani, yeah. But we have the fresh ones, mashallah. But mashallah, we always, what alhamdulillah, that if, if, if you are expired, what about us? <laughs> we should be, <laughs> Allah understand, alhamdulillah. But this, it was just only a joke, but mashallah, the good thing that Allah Azzawajal has united us with Islam. And that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. Our brother Bilal, I wanted to know about your journey to Islam. And then uh, uh, we can, we, since the brother Khalid, before you embraced Islam, he had, he had 20 years of experience. Yeah. So he can... <laughs> expert, expert. Yeah, expert, expert. <laughs> okay. So tell us about your story, how you became Muslim. So I come from a Christian background. Yeah. So my, my mom and my aunties were all Christians. Yeah. And my auntie decided to marry a Muslim. Yeah. And I used to see him in a certain times, specific times of the day, going to his corner yeah. and uh, doing the praying uh, uh, prostration and stuff Mashallah. like that. And I always start wondering because he was very cool and collected, a yeah. very calm person. I wanted to uh, understand, I had a very big curiosity to understand why he was different from us. Yeah. As if in, in, the, in the table we were eating, we used to eat pork as well, and he didn't used to touch it at all. So that triggered the uh, curiosity in me. And one day I went to him as he was sat in, uh, sitting on his uh, praying mat and I asked him, what are you doing? How old were you? I was seven. Seven, I was seven. And uh, he explained me and I said, can I do it with you? So he said, go to your mom and ask for a clean towel and ask for a permission to join me. So my mom gave me the permission and gave me a clean towel, alhamdulillah. And I went to him and I started doing, as he instructed me, what to do. The wudu and... The wudu and the praying. As a kid, you don't have to do wudu. Yeah, okay. So, this was a step, a step after. after. Yeah. Uh, so, we, I prayed with him and since that day I decided not to be like a common person. I stopped eating pork by myself and I started to join him as much as I could. Alhamdulillah. After a couple of months, one year max, yeah. All of my family joined the Islam, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. So here the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in a hadith, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا ولو أن تلقى أخاك بوجه انطلق Do not belittle anything of the righteousness, anything. Even if you meet your brother with a smiley face, you to smile and to be, you know, to show them a, a smiley face to them. My point is that we could see this, maybe one person, who had a big impact in your life and your, your family life, subhanAllah, one person. And you cannot imagine the, the amount of reward, may Allah bless him and reward him for the, for the, for the efforts, even small efforts, just the prayer. So that's why the prayer is a, is a, is a key as well for the people to, to know about Islam, to learn about Islam. So when the people, they see Muslims, when they pray, and we pray five times a day, we are connected with Allah, we are connected with the God like five times a day, and we are devoted to Islam. Alhamdulillah, that make many people to wonder what Islam is about, and to make people as well to consider to be a Muslim like yourselves. And Alhamdulillah, that brings people to Islam with this. And that's, that's why this is an advice for all our Muslims audience, inshallah ta'ala, that you try your best even in dealing with people with good way, even in being honest, even in, in uh, to pray on time, and to fast the month of Ramadan, to do what you can, don't think that these things are not noticeable by others. The people, they will notice this. And then they question some of them, some of these questions, you know, if it's uh, for some people, it may be a lead, a leading for them to, to become Muslims. Jazakallah khair, brother Khalid. May Allah bless you, my brother. I increase in all khair. Allah barak fiqh. And we have brother Bilal. Bilal, our fresh brother. Uh, fresh prince in Islam, <laughs> mashallah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so basically, yeah, as my brother Khalid, I, 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 I was raised. Because now I have, I have an understanding because I just came from Umrah. Yes, mashallah. mashallah yeah? So, before I went Umrah, I just want to touch on this subject. Yeah. I have a friend that asked me, why do you call yourself a revert? Not a convert. 
here and wallah, I thought myself, I don't have an answer for this brother. But after I done my Umrah, when Umrah came back, I realized, you know what, everybody is born as Muslim. Everybody is born as Muslim. So being called a revert is you going back to the faith that exactly. you were born with. So yeah, I understood that. But anyways, back to the thing is, I was, I was raised in a Christian family. Yes. Yeah. So Catholic sect, you know Christianity got too many sects. Yes, sir. So I learned the Bible with Catholics and I've always had questions. I couldn't, it didn't, it didn't make sense to me as a young kid, like certain things didn't make sense. So anyways, from Catholic, I went to Jehovah's Witness, Jehovah's Witness, I went to Mormons, and my heart always asked this kind of question. It's something doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make sense. But anyways, as I grew up, I'm, alhamdulillah, I grew up around the Muslim community. Some of my friends will speak about the Quran. Where, here or, or, or put in, in Ireland, in Ireland. In I was Ireland. raised in Ireland. Mashallah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So some of my friends would speak about the Quran to me, give some, some knowledge. And it sounded, it, it made sense to me. But anyways, I found myself um, one year, yeah, last year, I was going through certain situations. I used to have, I was in a relationship uh, and I used to have a girlfriend. Anyways, things didn't go right. Yeah? Okay. And I became depressed. I started drinking a lot. Yeah? So my mom, she's a Christian. She was advised by my auntie to go into the Sheikh to make a prayer from me. So the Sheikh done prayers for me in France. My mom flew all the way from, 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 from England to yeah. France, done the prayers for me. And a Sheikh? Yeah, yeah. Someone who's an yeah. imam? Yeah, an imam, okay. yeah. Okay. And my mom, bear in mind that my mom is Christian. She tried everything. Yeah. And I had a dream. I had a dream that I was fighting this shadow. Yeah. This black shadow. Yeah. And bear in mind, this, during this time, I'm drinking a lot. I'm having all these troubles in my life. Yeah. So I had, I had this dream. And this shadow was fighting me. And I was about to lose the fight, but I won the fight. I woke up and see, see the thing what we have to do, that's why it's important to do the Salahs because Salahs protects from what your eyes cannot see, yes. you know, it protects from the unseen. True. And I felt this pain on my back, you know, when I woke up from this dream and I felt maybe I slept in the wrong position, but me, I do martial arts. Yeah, I know this. Someone, someone done something to me. Someone was fighting you, yeah, proper, yeah, proper yeah, fight. Yeah, this was in a dream. I believe this was in a dream. Yeah. So, anyways, it happened to a stage that I ended up leaving the house I was living, and the council pulled me to go and live in a Muslim center, in Eritrean center. And as I'm going to this center, to live in a center. Yeah, Why? Muslim. It's, it's called Mu Muslim British uh, Center. Yeah. Yeah. Heritage Center in Manchester. It's yeah. a big center, Muslim center. They have like they have like a few bedrooms, so they help the, the people that are looking for accommodation. Yeah, yeah. So the council put me there. So as I am going through, there's this Muslim brother coming to me, trying to give that word to me. Are you a Muslim brother? Oh, Assalamu alaikum, are you a Muslim brother? I was like, not, not yet. Because I always have had it in my heart, not yet. You yeah. know? And he goes, not yet. This brother just followed me. He followed me. Give me his number. He told me to call him the next day. I did not call the brother the next day. Yeah, that's. I want to touch the point. Yeah, like when I joined, when I done my shahada, I wasn't looking for faith. I already knew. I was 100 percent sure because I had all these signs from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in my yeah. life. Yeah. So what happened was, I didn't call the brother. So here I am in this center. I call. I called, I ordered food. Uber Eats. Yeah. And the Uber guy, the delivery guy came to the center, but he could not find the place. And it was my last year of money. So what happened was the Uber guy called me. I go, oh, I cannot find the place. I'm going with your food. He left with my food. And I have no money to eat food. I have no money to eat food or nothing. So I come back to the center thinking about my life, the world. In, and I seen this brother again, Muslim brother, yeah. same brother from the previous day. And first thing he said, he didn't even say, Salam Alaikum. He said, did you eat today, my brother? I was like, wow, I even feel like crying out. I, I was like, wow, this is Allah gave me a sign, you know? SubhanAllah. This is Allah gave me a sign, you know? 
I told him, I'll call you tomorrow. I called him the next day. He did, he, did he feed you that night? He gave me lots of food. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me lots of food, alhamdulillah. Yes. May Allah Lord him bless him. Yeah. So anyways, next day called him on my shahada. Yeah. And the rest was history, but yeah, he's anchored on my shahada and he was a witness and then we had another person as a witness. And as we were talking, he kind of told me that I had some understanding yes. about what God is, what Allah is, yeah? Yeah. And then, my final test, I think, well, I'm still being tested, but just about a month ago, bear in mind that I'm only Muslim, eight months. Eight months is going to be nine months, yeah? So, Islam, like my brother told me, is, is like climbing a mountain as, as a revert. Like climbing a mountain, you don't expect to revert into Islam and do everything, trying to do everything straight away, you know. So you don't climb Mount Everest in one day, yes. you know. It takes it takes days time. to get. In, it takes time. So as a revert, that's why it is Islam. I'm learning bit by bit. Yeah. So Subhanallah, in January I get a phone call from the center. Bilal, do you wanna go? Do you wanna go to Saudi Arabia? Umrah, Ali Dawa Institution, Salah Project. Yeah. They were, they, they, they were supplying, they were paying for And I was like, oh, I said, yes, straight away, I'm coming. Without realizing my passport is expired. We only got three days left. So basically this happened on Tuesday. By Friday, we were flying to Saudi Arabia. I'm from Portugal, yeah, brothers. And my passport is expired. I'm living in the UK, you know? So I thought to myself, what am I going to do now? But then I thought to myself, this is Allah calling me yeah. if I'm really gonna show my face to his house. Am I gonna show his face to his house now? Or am I gonna make an excuse? I'm not gonna fly to Portugal, spend the money that I have to spend, you know. To get the passport. To make the passport. I closed my eyes, I was like, Allah knows best. If I have to spend all the money I have in my bank account, I spend all the money I have in my bank account. So the next day I flew into Portugal, I done the emergency passport that cost me whatever money it cost me. Flew back into England and arrived in Manchester at 11 at night. 11.50 took the bus to London, yeah, like four hours. Alhamdulillah, met the brothers, the revert brothers, went straight to Medina. Amazing time. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And I want to share this thing. Yeah? Yes. See, in Medina, there's a lot of people ask me, I was Medina, I was Mecca, because it's a holy place, yeah? And correct me on this, one year, one day in Jena is equivalent to, 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 to how many days in here? Or many? Yeah, a thousand years. A thousand years. Yes. And there's this thing about, there's this thing I want to share with everybody, yeah, about, about Medina. It's a unique place, yeah. See, I arrived and I was walking with my brother Muhammad, yeah. Yeah. Mashallah. And as we were walking, because in Medina everybody takes their time. Yes. Everybody speaks to each other. You know, it's not like here that people just pass to each other, yeah. don't, don't acknowledge nobody. Everybody speaks to each other. You see, everybody is given knowledge. I learned so much. Yes, subhanAllah. But I remember telling him this. My brother told me this. Carlos, it's nice over here. And I said, yeah, it is. It's not even that bad. We're talking about the, how much money we spent. I've only spent 160 pounds since I'm 160 pounds. I'm here. It's not that bad. And he told me, Bilal, we only here one day. You know? So what I'm trying to say is that because it's a holy place there. It, it's like time don't move over there. It's like yes. it, it felt it felt it, have you been there? See? Yeah of course. Right? Yeah? I was spent four days in Medina and it felt like I was there for two months or something. That's and now that I'm back here on this land, I'm here came back at the end of uh, February, time just flew like True. this. Last month just went like this. I didn't even see it pass by. I know it was amazing. You know, I will tell you something. Yeah. There are two. There are two things that no one can explain. Firstly, when they when the when the person embraces Islam, they cannot explain the feeling. No one can explain it. They will say all these overwhelming emotions, but they can't explain. It. The second thing, the first time that you see Kaaba, oh, that no one can explain. Correct. Correct. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone was able to explain this the first time. Second time it happened, but first time seeing Kaaba, 
that's all you see between, you know, the, the, I remember, like, you see, you, go, you walk between and then the crowd, and then you see, you know, between the, the, the dones and, and, and then, you know, the pillars in the middle, and then you see. I see, it hit me, it hit me. You just feel that moment freeze, like, as if it goes for centuries, subhanAllah. But for me, it was that, but as a reverse, yeah, what happened was finished, when I finished Umrah on the last two walk, I was with the brothers. It's like I had a flashback of all my life, me seeking God, all the things. It's like everything just hit me. And see that, that boundary that I had between myself and Allah. It's, I just start crying, I just start crying. I was, I just broke the boundary that I had there. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So yeah. this is the guidance from Allah as we know, Allah guide whomever he wish to the, to the right path. And we, we wanted to share these stories with, with everyone because these stories, you know, Alhamdulillah, that each, each revert story is unique, Alhamdulillah. And, and these revert stories that it will encourage, firstly, encourage us as Muslims that look Allah, you know, Allah bringing people to Islam. That like whether if you are be righteous or not be righteous, Allah will still bring people, Allah will still bring people to this religion. As well, it's an encouragement for non-Muslims as well to know about what is Islam. Islam, what the, not what the people are saying, Islam is your own experience, what is your experience in Islam? And as well is the encouragement as well for those who are reverts as well, that, that to, to try their best to, to keep, the, to make their, their faith firm in Allah. And by, you know, the prayer you mentioned, you hear, the prayer, the connection between you and Allah Azzawajal, the more you are connected with Allah Azzawajal, the more your, your, your faith is firm, the more you are closer to Allah Azzawajal, and the more that Allah will, will open gates for you. So that's when Allah, as you mentioned here, a great thing that Allah called you to his house. Yeah. So Allah called you, Allah favored you with this. I was, yeah? was I going to go or no? And subhanAllah, yani, uh, the day, one week before, I remember, Ali asked me, he said to me, he said he, he was looking for a revert brother to go with him to Umrah. And someone took shahad with me two months ago, and then I was saying, okay, let me, let me contact him. For some reason, I don't know, I'm always, like when these things, to help rivers, I try to help rivers as much as I can. I always like, you know, but for some reason, I said I'll call him tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Something happened, something held me. And subhanAllah, when I, when, I, uh, when, I, when I spoke to Ali after, I said, you know, I, 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 I forget to call the brother. And then he said to me, we found the brother, he's gonna come with us. I said, Alhamdulillah, I found him. Alhamdulillah, he's a new Muslim. Yeah, Allah, Allah choose, so Allah choose, so Allah choose, so Allah choose you, coming from Manchester, and he didn't choose someone else. So that shows here, from Allah. I'm, I'm here with you, my brother, and we are happy for you, you uh, uh, that you are our brother in Islam, and we are happy I'm that happy, Allah I'm has favored you with Tawheed, has favored you with Islam, and we ask Allah to keep you firm upon this deen, and we ask Allah to increase you in all khair and all good in your life, and you, and we ask Allah to, that for you to be as the as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he made dua to one of his companions, Allah majalu hadi and mahdi and wahdi bi, Allah make him guide for others. Mahdi and guided, Wahdi be and guide through him. May Allah Azza wa make you guide for others and guide you and guide through you to this, to this uh, faith of Islam. And we are happy, mashallah, that you are our brother in Islam. And that shows you see the, the most, one of the beautiful things in Islam. Alhamdulillah, Islam. We don't have mosques for blacks and white, we don't have mosques for Arabs. And, Alhamdulillah, this, our message is open for everyone. Yes. The most who has the most knowledge of the Quran is the leader, regardless his background, regardless his ethnicity. And that's how it is in Islam. That's and that's the beauty of it in Islam. That's, that's beautiful. When I was in you know, I prayed with brothers from all over the place. You see, all you know, over the place. And one thing that people need to realize is, when, when, you, when, when you're praying with people, a man's, a man's hands and a man's feet will tell yeah. a lot about the person. Yes. You know, and you see people coming from all these places that we struggle, they struggle even more, but they're still here in Azul Father with that strong faith, you know? So okay, you, 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 went there, you went there in a hotel and stayed there. May Allah bless you and may Allah yeah. it will bless the, the people who, who put effort. Some people who come I from, from places. They will stay in Mecca or Medina, they will sleep on the street just only to come to Mecca. They will sleep on the street, they will do what they can in order to get, you know, to get this opportunity. Yeah? I'm going to talk to you just in a minute, but let me finish, yeah? One thing, one thing, because I've been doing the last few months has been good for me. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me knowledge about Islam and understanding about Islam. Yes. That's one of the main things I ask. The hadith of the Prophet, وَمَنْ يُرْجِ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا وَفِقْهُ فِي الدِّينِ Whomever Allah wanted for him, good for him, whomever Allah wants good for him, Allah will give him the understanding of Islam. 
So ask Allah to give you the understanding of Islam. Ask Allah to increase in all khayr. And our, my brother, you are my brother in Islam, inshallah ta'ala. And we want it, inshallah, if you need anything, you'll take my number, ask yeah, inshallah take, ta'ala. And we'll be in touch, inshallah. Because I plan to do like, we're from Portugal, and I spoke to brother about this. I think where we're from, even Angola, it lacks a lot of information in Portuguese. Yes. So, inshallah, we will get the knowledge we need. And Inshallah. one day we can transfer all this into Portuguese. Inshallah, try your, try, try your best. Alhamdulillah, we have some leaflets and Qur'ans and things that like translate to Portuguese, but it's not enough. They, it's needed more. Yeah, yeah. Not just because Portuguese is a language that is spoken by millions, actually. Yeah, yeah. Brazil, as well, Angola, as you mentioned, and as well. So it's needed, Inshallah. Ta'ala. We ask Allah to, to increase us all and in, in all khair. And may Allah bless you, my brother. My brother Bilal. My brother Khalid. My brother Khalid. My brother Khalid. My brother Khalid. I'll take your number. Yeah, inshallah. Just in case I'm in London. You need to share it so I can talk to the chef. No problem. Anytime. Certain times we have questions. I'm all yours. By the way, by the way, I have I have a WhatsApp group for, for, for brothers and sisters. The WhatsApp group for the sisters are active. So that's why I had a few of them. They are active. The brothers one is a bit... It's not that active. So we'll add you to it. We need to activate it more, inshallah okay, ta'ala. So okay, it'll be okay, we for the, the Rivet brothers, inshallah ta'ala. We will, we will. That's my number, my brother. Yeah? I'll tell you what, my life has changed. Alhamdulillah, yes. Thank Sheikh you. Muhammad. Just put Sheikh Muhammad, it will be. Has changed drastic. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah khair. I'm, I'm, I'm even married now, you know. So well, sometimes. Are you married? Yeah, yeah. When? Um, I'm married when in January, yeah. What? January. You don't even remember, January, yeah. But see the thing, yeah. I'll tell you this, yeah. Allah works in mysterious ways. So remember the story I was telling you. I had yeah. this relationship, yeah. and I got the press, yeah? yeah. So sometimes Allah will take you something yeah, of yeah, you, and you would ask him, why are you taking this? Away? And, and how? And, and how is your wife about your? My getting? wife. I'll tell you. So she was a Christian, yeah. And when I went to Kaaba. When I went to Umrah, yeah, you made that for. She, she, she didn't, and she, she, she was trying to get me on the phone the match, and I was like, I'm trying to be present because I'm going to a ritual and I'm doing this and that, yeah. But the, when I seen Kaaba the first day, I made this walk. Allah, please give my, 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 my wife some understanding about Islam. The next day, the next day, the very next day, my wife called me. Bilal, I've just done some research, and can you believe? In, 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 in the Quran, yeah, there's the same prophets in, in the Bible. So, some of the prophets. And then she will, and I don't know research about the Kaaba, who built the Kaaba. You know what? I want to gain more knowledge about Islam. So I start giving them more knowledge about Islam. She's in Brazil right now. Yeah. yeah? So she told me, when I come to, when I come to England, I want to do my shahad. Inshallah, so Allah, we'll so be there. So I, w I would love to be there. Inshallah. So, so you know, is that just shows like how Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala works, operates. Of you know? course, of course. You know, and He knows if you, He knows what's in your heart. Exactly. He, he knows what's in, exactly. what's in your heart. Exactly. Exactly, my brother. Zakallah khair, my brother. May Allah reward my brother. May Allah bless you. Inshallah. Hopefully, when she comes back, let me know. Inshallah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to her. Salaam alaikum. Zakallah khair. Take my number. Inshallah from him. Inshallah. Allah bar. Inshallah. Zakallah khair. Zakallah khair. All my brothers and sisters. May Allah increase us all in knowledge and iman. May Allah Azza wa Jal unite us all with our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Jannat al-Firdaus. Alhamdulillah to see those brothers and sisters who embrace Islam. Allah it gives coolness to our eyes. Alhamdulillah it gives peace to our heart. That Allah Azza wa Jal keep guiding people to Islam. Alhamdulillah. Zakallah khair. All my brothers and sisters. May Allah reward you. Salaam alaikum. Rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Okay. Yeah, give it to Mehmet, yeah, the...